Good afternoon, I'm Alicia Smith, and here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Fiat Chrysler and PSA Peugeot have signed a deal to merge the two automakers. The move will create the world's fourth largest auto company. In a statement, the company said that the new group will be led by PSA CEO Carlo Taveras. No plants are expected to close as a result of the deal. A name for the new company has not yet been decided. The deal is expected to close in the next 12 to 15 months. The National Driving Safety Campaign's Drive Sober or Get Pulled Over kicks off today and it's aimed at encouraging safe, sober driving during the holiday season, which is one of the deadliest times of the year for drunk and drugged driving fatalities. According to the latest data, one person was killed every 50 minutes by a drunk driver on our nation's roads at this time last year. Here in Michigan, of the 905 fatal crashes in 2018, 31.7% involved alcohol. The drive sober or get pulled over campaign runs through January 1st. Detroit Lions team owner Martha Ford has just released an open letter to Lions fans. The move comes after the announcement yesterday that head coach Matt Patricia and general manager Bob Quinn will be keeping their jobs next season. The letter reads in part, quote, our 2019 season has not gone as anticipated by anyone in our organization. Our team has played hard and well enough to be very competitive. Unfortunately, all too often, we have come up a few plays short of victory. Our current win-loss record is ultimately very disappointing. Ford goes on to say that she's committed to Patricia's long-term plan for the team and that she expects the Lions to be a playoff contender in 2020. Time for a look at your forecast with 7 First Alert Meteorologist Kevin Jeans. Hey, Alicia, this afternoon, windy and cold. High temperatures around 20 degrees, but the wind chills are going to be in the single digits through the rest of the day and all night tonight. The temperature drops to a low of about 11 degrees. Lighter wind overnight, lighter winds tomorrow. We begin the warm up tomorrow, but it's still going to be a cold day Thursday, high of 30. Friday, we're up to 38. And look at the weekend. We'll have highs back up into the mid 40s. All of next week, look like high temperatures above average. We'll be in the low to mid 40s through Christmas Day. Those are your headlines from 7 Action News. You can head to WXYZ.com or download our free 7 app for news anytime. I'm Alicia Smith. Have a great day.